Well, hi. They, they're a standing joke in Arizona says that, uh, how did you get into ranching? Was it through the womb, the tomb, or the altar? And I'm hoping we can change that. 758. That's the number of small family farms and ranches that disappears every single month. Mathematicians in the audience, that's one an hour. How many more will be gone by the time this conference is over? My name is Paul, and my family and I ranch on the Mogollon Rim on the Arizona-New Mexico border. And I hate starting off with morbid statistics like this, because this is actually a positive presentation. I have a better idea, I think. And that idea is basically to crowdfund ranch land, in effect, to develop a land CSA. All right. Open space means a lot to me, as I imagine it means a lot to you, too. This view you see here is the ranch I want all of us to buy. That view is the same view that Coronado saw in 1540 and Aldo Leopold saw in 1909. This is beautiful, open, productive country, but it's about to get chopped up. The ranchetting of the West is an environmental and social tragedy, but I think we can change that. You know, not surprisingly, I think the solution is in ranching. Who would have imagined in the 80s or 90s, at the height of the range wars, that a rancher would come from Arizona and stand on the stage in Boulder of all places <laughs> and pitch the envir environmental benefits of ranching? But that's exactly what I'm doing, and I think most of us have recognized that stewardship, stewardship, stewardship is the key. Caring is the key. Unfortunately, ranching cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the kinds of development capital that is ranchetting the West. So I won't go into too much detail here, but uh, we're practitioners of holistic resource management. We've been direct marketing grass-fed beef for all, almost 20 years, since long before it was chic. Um, and this year we're going to sell over a half million dollars of pure, organic, clean beef to our local community, which is really cool. We're selling twice as much beef as we can physically produce, which means we need another ranch. And moreover, my brother and I, like a lot of returning veterans, would love to get back to the family ranch and join the operation, but cannot make an operation pencil based upon conventional bank loans. The debt service is simply too high. Which is why we have this idea about a place-based capital fund, where all of us in this room to come together, pitch in, and buy a ranch at the same time and generate significant returns, both emotional and financial. This fund would, in effect, buy down what I consider the inflated real estate value of modern ranch land, while simultaneously generating significant, upwards of 10% returns to our investor pool. And these are just some of the ecosystem services that good stewardship can provide. And I just want to ask you, do you want to help us do this? So this fund would generate meaningful land conservation in the sense that as soon as these ranches are purchased, they go under conservation easement. It also generates direct, real financial returns, modest, I admit, but real returns nevertheless. But we sweeten these modest returns with what we call interest from the land. We're going to generate a beef annuity, sort of tongue-in-cheek, but a share of beef that comes with your share in that, in that land investment pool as well as exclusive investor ranch access. And more importantly, an involvement in your investment. If we could do this, if we can prove this here, we can have a revolving capital fund that could do this on millions and millions of Western acres. How cool would that be? So it's possible we're crazy. I'm not a financier, but my gut tells me, my entrepreneur's gut tells me that this concept has legs. And so to maintain our sanity, we're capping our first offering. We're looking for credible, not necessarily accredited investors. And I've got three kids and 300 cows and two businesses and a worried wife. If this vehicle doesn't take off, I'm okay with that. Maybe that's what I need to know. But something tells me it could. What if it did work? What if we in this room could change agricultural history? What if we could change that number from 758 lost to 758 gained? 
So come be a part of the solution. I want to see you out there. Thank you.